Oh my god, so EA have gone and released yet again another objective. So yesterday team of the season started and we obviously had loads of packs in store. We've got two team of seasons, EFL and also the, the most community voted. And we have now team of the season forum and Tony to complete as well as player moments Laporte. If you missed the video on these two players, I'll show you how to complete these objectives as easily as possible. I also give you some team and player uh, recommendations to complete these challenges specifically. So if you missed that video, go check it out. Today we're going to be looking at player moments of Laporte. And uh, if you enjoy these, you know, these advice videos, make sure you drop a like on the video and make sure you subscribe. But before we get into this, if you want to buy cheap Ultimate Team coins, go and check out MMOPO.com and use the discount code EGHD at the checkout to get yourself 8% off your order. The first one here, Basque beginning, scoring outside the box goal into separate rival matches using La Liga players. So the good thing about this is you don't need to win the game. You just need to score in separate rivals matches. So you can't do it in one game. Once you've scored outside the box, don't bother trying again specifically because you don't need to waste your time doing it. I'm going to give you some player recommendations soon, but I think someone with a finesse shot trait and obviously some good long shots and finishing. Well, actually finishing doesn't actually matter too much. It's shot power and long shots with the finesse shot, which really helps the long shots in this game. The next one, defensive delivery, assist a goal with a free ball in three separate rivals matches using defenders. So this one's going to be a little bit tougher. The best way to do this is to play a left back or a right back in the cam position, let's say in a 4-2-3-1. You could obviously play him striker as well. That would count too. Obviously to do a through ball, you need to press Y on the Xbox controller. I think, is it is it triangle on the uh, PlayStation controller? It's the button at the top anyway. Again, I'm going to give you some great recommendations, uh, some left backs and right backs that can also shoot and pass and dribble, which is very important. You don't want to be using a really stiff defender if you're trying to complete this challenge. The next one is going to be Premier Placement. Assist a goal with a cross in five separate rivals wins using Premier League players. This one's going to be tougher, so obviously we need to do a squad here, which has at least two or three players in the attack to get the crosses. Now, when you cross, I always say this, you don't need to cross it in the air for a header. You don't need to do that. Obviously, you can if you want to, but the best way and the most effective way to do this is to, instead of pass the ball in a sweaty situation where you pass across the goal, you want to basically hold RB or R1 on PlayStation and then press X or square on PlayStation. That way, it's going to bobble pass over, like a, like a almost like a driven pass, and it counts as a cross. I remember having to do that for Oceanman, and it was a pain in the ass. But uh, it may be worth it if you need to add this guy to a squad. The next one is going to be French Foundation. Score in three separate rival wins using French players with at least three star weak foot. Now that's actually very easy to do. If you think you've got to get five specific wins here for this challenge, Premier Placement, you're going to do this one before you do this one. So the hardest one and the one you've really got to focus on completing first once you get into a game is getting an assist with a cross with a Premier League player. That is the one you really want to focus on. So let's go ahead and show you a team which will be great for doing this. So here is the squad which you can use in Rivals to complete all of the objectives. Now, obviously, it's very cheap. It's 100,000 coins. You can upgrade the players in this squad. You can go for a better version of Martial. You can go for a better version of Lucas. You can even get a better version of Sissoko, Griezmann, Dembele, De Jong. Literally, all these players, apart from, I think, Lengle, have potential upgrades uh, and also Mendy as well. Now, why have I gone for these players specifically? So, of course, we need to score with French players. So, we've got three French players here which you can score with, two of those which are La Liga players. So, these are the two players which you're going to focus on doing the long shots. Now, it's probably going to be easiest with Griezmann because he has pretty decent shot power and long shots. It doesn't actually look too bad there, but if you put a chem style on him, or I should say it doesn't look too good there. If you put a chem style on him, like a maestro or a dead eye, then that boosts his shot power and long shots quite a lot. He also has the finesse shot, which basically means he has 99 curve when he shoots. And he also has the outside the foot shot, which doesn't really account for shooting outside the box. But he's going to be very good at shooting just on the edge of the box. Of course, guys, as we already mentioned, you can score a chip shot as well. So you can do a chip shot with Dembele or Griezmann. Dembele is more likely to get through on goal being very fast. So you may get a chip shot opportunity. Now, once you score your goal from the outside of the box, I recommend subbing off players from La Liga and trying to get all the players from the Premier League on the pitch so that you can uh, get an assist with Premier League players by doing a cross. That is going to be the one that's toughest. That's the one where you need to do that in five separate wins. So, of course, uh, this is a formation which you'd use. You'd probably use like a 4 2 3 1. You'd have Lucas and Martial on the wings. You'd probably have Dembele as a cam and Griezmann as a striker. That way, if you do get down the sides, 
then you can cross the ball over with a Premier League player. So to get assists with defenders, you're going to need to move your left backs and your right backs into the midfield in some kind of way. In a 4-4-2, you can play them as a centre mid. In a 4-2-3-1, you can play maybe someone as a cam. Or if you really want to go all out attack, you can, get, you can set a custom tactic to make both your left back and your right back a striker. That way, increasing the odds that you may get an assist. Now, obviously, I can't do the custom tactics because this is a concept squad, but it would look something like this. Now, if you're going to do this, then I actually recommend going for someone like Carvajal instead of Semedo. Semedo's a better left, uh, sorry, he's a better right back, but Carvajal would be a better uh, centre mid and give you a better chance of actually getting an assist here as a defender. Now, for those of you that are working on a small budget, if you need some more left backs and right backs to come onto the pitch as defenders and get you assists and play an attacking role, maybe as a cam or a striker, you've got four players which come to at least, you know, maximum, I'd say 30,000 coins. And we've got a team, of the a team of the season, a team of the season player here, right wing back, who's been upgraded actually. I think he was either a right mid or a right wing. So you can see here his in game stats are pretty good. He's got good passing, good dribbling, 99 agility, 99 balance. He's got low reactions and stuff like that. But I don't think this stuff really matters, especially in rivals. You can just sub him on and uh, the fitness doesn't really account for that for that much either. Although he's got 92 stamina. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can see his stats are pretty solid. Obviously, Alaba as well, you can see here his finishing is quite low, but it's not about scoring goals. It's about passing. And uh, even like, you know, just as a midfielder playing as a centre mid, Alaba is going to get you assists. And the same goes for Marcelo, obviously, with the five star skill moves. What traits does he have? He has outside the foot shot and flair as well. What's he got? Four star weak foot. So, yeah, you know all about Marcelo. He's obviously got uh, a shapeshifters card which has had a big boost more to his attacking but you need to stop they need to actually be a defender so using the shapeshifter wouldn't count and then lastly we have Opazo here as well 95 pace is quite a small player but 95 pace good defending so playing as a center mid can work really well but it's got good dribbling 95 agility 93 balance uh, great stamina that's what all of these left backs and right backs seem to have in common is the same kind of key stats which they have in abundance now something we haven't spoken about here is attribute cards attribute cards are something Think you should be using in rivals they are in the game for a reason obviously you can't use them in foot champs otherwise that would be broken and there'll be no point in having like you know icons and stuff if you can just boost up your normal players up to icon standard but attribute cards are in the game for obviously fun reasons and also to help with objectives especially if you're not good enough or you find it difficult to do challenges the what you can do to what i think is the most useful in this situation here is to boost your shooting to complete the la liga challenges you can do that with dembele and griezmann go and get a gold plus 15 shooting attribute cards or you can just get a plus three attribute card that is bronze for every stat you're going to notice a massive difference to the way they feel um, but yeah obviously for the long shot to score outside the box with dembele having a shooting boost is going to be massive and uh Griezmann's finishing is pretty good already, but having that boost overall is going to make a big difference. Let me have a look on the market, how much these cost right now. So as you can see, if you go close to the 59th minute, you can get plus three attribute bronze cards for 200 coins. It depends which console you're on, um, but yeah, you can get them probably for 150 if you put a bid on them. Now the shooting ones seem to be really expensive. If you put in gold and then scroll across, you literally can barely find any shooting stuff. In fact, I actually haven't found any shooting bonuses yet. It's just dribbling, defending and passing. So maybe the next best thing actually there's plus 15 shooting there let's see how much they cost really quick so here we go they're coming in at just under 1000 coins it's down to you i think that's really expensive i personally would probably go to try and silver go for silvers or bronzes so yeah if you go for a plus 10 shooting card on griezmann there's not much difference between silver and gold because it's almost you know he's going to max out his shooting at pretty much plus 10 so you can find these for like 200 coins probably this is literally on the first page for 250 now guys if we actually have a look at Laporte in game I'm going to talk to you about the chem styles although it's fairly fairly obvious uh, because obviously what he lacks here is uh, pace you know he's got 74 overall it should actually be 73 because uh, the average of this is closer to 73 but with a shadow it basically boosts him up to the mid 80s which is just about usable i'd say um, even for this point of the game it is usable um, but it's only usable for like you know the, the cheap teams the the early teams the people that may have started an account recently or don't play fifa as much if you've got a stacked account then uh, you're most likely chucking this into some kind of spc of course an anchor would be good as well but a uh, shadow is best if you're going to chuck him into an SBC, obviously don't waste an anchor chem style. You're not going to get much game time out of him. But what I also wanted to do is actually compare Laporte to the likes of Lengle, which uh, I think is a very similar player. So if we go to compare, now you may not be able to see because of how zoomed out it is, but uh, Lengle 75 pace, Laporte 74. Defending on uh, Laporte's 91, Lengle's 86. 
and then the physical is 86 versus 80 on Lengley. But uh, in terms of the in-game stats, they're going to be quite similar in a lot of ways. The agility and balance is quite similar. Uh, composure and reactions is much better on uh, Laporte, of course, and obviously the defending here is, I would actually say, only slightly better. Not as much, not as good as you expect it to be. It's mainly the standing tackle that goes from 83 to 92, and also the stamina is higher, strength is higher, and slightly more aggression. But overall, it's not that much of an upgrade to Lengley. But anyway, guys, hopefully you found this useful in some way. If you have, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe as well. And if you missed out the previous videos of Team of the Season so far, Furum and Tony, make sure you go check it out. I've got loads of other videos on my channel showing you how to do the bronze pack method, league SPC grinds, the comable league SPCs and all sorts. So make sure you go check them out and I will catch you guys for hopefully another objective tomorrow because they're releasing so much content right now. But anyway guys, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Ow.